Hey, what's going on, you nasty motherfuckers? Um, look, there's something that I really need to talk to you guys about. Um, and the only reason I'm telling you guys this is because I really, truly do love and care about you guys. Um, I've been opening cards without you guys. I haven't been recording them and posting them. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm... <sighs> I'm not going to say I feel guilty about it, but I just wanted, I just wanted to let you know. And it's not because, um, it's not because I don't care about you guys. Um, it's because it was stupid bullshit that's not combat sports cards. And that's all I really care about is combat sports cards. I bought a mega box of the Goodwins Champions this year to try and pull an Ilya Teporia. I didn't get one. I didn't get anything. I got a Young Guns um, guy named uh, J.C. Strode or something like that. Young Guns. Um, but that was only worth like 10, 15 bucks. So, um, but I did buy, uh, so fucking Walmart does not care when they fucking put product out. If they say, hey, we're going to ship this to you early but don't put it out until this date because that's the release date. Some asshole is just going to throw it out on the shelves. So I did get a blaster box of um, the new Upper Deck Round 2 2324 hockey. And I don't know anything about hockey. But each one of these blaster box comes with this giant fucking uh, Young Guns topper, which is fucking sick. Uh, and if you get a young guns topper of this guy, uh, this, this young man by the name of Con Connor, Connor Bernard, 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 Bedard, Connor Bedard, Connor Bedard, Bedard, um, they're worth a lot of money right now. So I got one of the, I should have bought all the blasters if I'd have known that they weren't supposed to be out yet. These, I got these blasters the same day that people were opening up hobby boxes. <laughs> which is not fucking supposed to happen. So, um, I did pull one of the, the Bernard, the, the Bonnard Bagard, the Connor Bernard. This is the, uh, UD portraits. It's not young guns. The base young guns of this fucking guy are going for like a thousand dollars right now, which is just so stupid. So I think I have this up for 50 bucks. Um, they've been selling for anywhere between 40 and $90. So I got it for 50 or best offer because um, I don't care about this corny ass card. Look at this corny ass card. And then I did get another Young Guns of uh, Leo Carlson, which apparently this guy's fucking really good too. I think uh, there's a Young Guns dual card with this guy and uh, th this fucking guy uh, that's, that's worth some money too, I guess. But I enjoyed opening up this Upper Deck Blaster. It was cool. There's some fun parallels. Look at this Dazzler. I like shiny shit. Like, why can't... Why couldn't fucking UFC Chronicles look like this? Like, these are paper cards, too. That looks fucking amazing. And this is a canvas card. It feels like a canvas card. It is a canvas card. I mean, it's worth, like, two bucks, but... Yeah, I really enjoyed all the um, parallels that they had in this Upper Deck Aki box. Don't know who any of these fucking guys are, which is fine, but I really enjoyed the cards. That's cool. Deep Roots. So this guy's apparently been maybe a goalie for a long time uh, at wherever this is at. I know I got a couple a couple friends from uh, up in the Great White North, um, Cloudsy420. And uh, DK Displays, maybe they know a little bit about Aki. Maybe one of them will watch this and let me know if any of these other guys are sick. So yeah, these are the base cards. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, I don't... I hope you don't... I hope you guys aren't hurt because I cheated on you and I opened stuff up off the air. Um, I wasn't going to do this with this fucking... <laughs> this fucking magic box. Uh, my friend's nine-year-old kids would think I'm so fucking cool right now opening this up. So embarrassing. I am a big fan of the uh, uh, Fallout video games. 
I came in late. I only played Fallout 4. I did not have a PlayStation 3, and I think that's uh, Fallout New Vegas came out on that, which, from what everybody says, that's the best Fallout game, but I absolutely loved Fallout 4, so I can't imagine what um, Fallout New Vegas was like. So, as soon as I saw Magic was coming out with this shit, I was going to buy it. Um, so, basically, it's a cool idea. This is basically one pack out of a hobby box. So you get one booster, 15 cards, and this was, I think this was 40 bucks at the Meher. I got a fancy new Meher, or Meyer, Meher, Meher. I don't know how you say it up here in uh, beautiful North Canton. Oh, there's the, there's the, uh, the pit boy in the back. Oh, that's cool. All right, how do we open this fucking thing? All right. Oh, it's sealed there. So we're just going to go like that. Oh, shit. That was probably a bad idea. Did I get it? No, I didn't even get it. Oh, this is embarrassing. Sorry, guys. All right. So we're going to swipe that. We're going to cleave it. Oh, I don't want to fucking go to the hospital today. What the fuck is going on with this thing? All right. Let's see if that did it. It's good that I'm stalling because we only get one fucking pack in here. I probably could have kept this in good condition and kept the box, but boy, that's too late, huh? Oh, they got it fucking glued in there too, huh? Ooh, yikes. I don't know if I like that. Um, so I know there, the big thing in here, are there's bobbleheads. If you know anything about... Um, Fallout 4, there's bobbleheads that, um, like bobblehead dolls you can find in the world, um, that are trophies that give you, like, special attributes, I believe. And those are the only numbered cards that you get. So. Okay. Forest. This is so gay. Not gay. It's cool. It's fun. All right. Scattered Groves. Shadow Blood Ridge. Rancor. <laughs> Loyal Apprentice. I don't um, recognize any of this since I've only experienced Fallout 4, so this is probably older stuff. Veronica. Dissident Scribe. That's a legendary creature. That's the first one that has like something shiny down here at the bottom, so that might be a better, like a better one. Temple of Deceit. I don't know anything about magic. I've never fucked with this shit before, ever. Nor will I ever again. This is a one-time thing. Uh, Verdescent Bog. Unless I get, like, a $1,000 card, and then I'll be cool with it. Another land card. The Scattered Groves. Power. Danger. Okay. Wake Pass. That's the shiniest, goldiest one, so... That might be our hit. It feels a little bit different, too. Oh, yeah, these are magic cards, so they have, like, the magic uh, background on them, I guess. I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm going to have to check these all out uh, when we're done to see if anything's worth absolutely anything. Oh, Hancock, the ghoulish mayor. That's my boy. Soltron Invader. And our legendary creature is dog meat. Nice. Fucking sweet dog meat. Yeah, and then junk or something. Yeah, so as far as I know, I think that was a total disappointment. Yikes. Um, yeah, that's why I never fucking would ever buy anything other than UFC cards. Because, I mean, there might be something good in here, but I don't know anything about no sports. You know what I mean? Like... I'm flipping through these guys and all these parallels. Like, there might be some good hockey players in here or something sweet that I missed. But let me know. Um, I think these I think these two are going to sell pretty quick. I got a bunch of people looking at this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of these that have sold but um, in the past two, three days. But today i don't think i've i've seen any any of them sell so maybe they're starting to get circulated more um yeah i don't fucking know 
Um, I love you guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, we are a combat sports card channel, but every now and then I like to have a little fun and try something different. Godspeed. Party on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>